Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastures Life. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where you'll meet me most of the time because I'm doing kitchen cooking videos most of the time, but occasionally you'll see grocery hauls, farming videos, day in the life of, you never know what you're going to get here. And I'd just like to say welcome and I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification and give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you're back, guys, you know I love you and I say welcome back. So today, let me go ahead and say today's video is going to be really kind of cool for me. It's not one I normally do. Normally, I have a recipe. I go to the store. I get the groceries for that recipe or whatever. Um, this is kind of a freezer, pantry, whatever, clean out casserole. So if you are one who likes a written recipe, let me just go ahead and say, go grab you a piece of paper right now and write it down as we go because I have no idea what's going in this casserole and I really have no idea amounts. So this is something just to show you how if you're needing to clean out your freezer, needing to clean out your pantry, we can do this and we can just make something really good and delicious. So let's get started. Remember, if you're new here, during the intro is a great time to hit subscribe and I'll see you right back, right here. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so the first thing I did this morning was I had some chicken in the freezer that needed to be cooked. I boiled up some chicken and I've saved out about a cup and a half of it. The other I'm going to put in the refrigerator or freezer to make quesadillas or whatever I need boiled chicken for. But uh, for this, I'm going to use about a cup and a half. The first thing I'm going to do is get some noodles on to boil. I really think I'm only going to use about half of these. If you have egg noodles, I just happen to have some Amish noodles that um, I, I, it's been in my pantry forever and I'm tired of looking at them. <laughs> I'm tired of moving them around to get to everything. So we're going to use these. I'm actually going to use only about half of them this time. And then I'll think of a, maybe I can make chicken soup with the other boiled chicken. So that may be a video coming up pretty soon. So anyway, I'm going to use about half of this. And I'm going to get a, a one onion chopped and on to saute. Once the onions get sauteed and start to soften up, I had some frozen peppers in the freezer that I'm needing to use up. I'm not going to use it all in this, but I'm starting to get rid of things. So I took out about maybe a half a cup of the peppers. And once the onions start to get soft, I'll add that in as well as some frozen mixed vegetables. I'll throw that in there as well. I am boiling the noodles in the same broth that I boiled the chicken breast in. So it's made its own broth, and so now I'm boiling the noodles in that same liquid. So that'll add some flavor. I also did add a little bouillon granules to that for flavor. Okay, so I'll wait for the onions and I'll bring you back. Okay, everybody, I've got the onions and the peppers um, sauteed up good. So just kind of follow along and write down the best you can as we go. I've got here about a cup of frozen vegetables. We're going to go in with that. I don't know how this casserole is going to turn out, but we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead in with my cup and a half of chicken. And I'm going to add about a cup and a half of the broth that I cooked the chicken in. 
and we're just going to bring this to a good simmer and really just mainly cook those vegetables pretty good. So we're going to be adding some sour cream to this once this is heated through. I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner up a little bit, get it to cooking good, and then I'll turn it back down. My noodles are cooking over here beside me in the broth. And so this is coming together quite nicely. So what's in your pantry? What's in your pantry that you need to clean out? You see my kitchen's a mess. I've been cooking all day. <laughs> um, what do you need to clean out of your pantry? Um, I actually, what's also going to go in this casserole is some asparagus I found in the refrigerator that has seen its better day. And so I've cut it up into about inch pieces. Um, it's probably about eight ounces of asparagus. I would like to have had more, but this is all I had left. And I would rather use it than throw it out. So it's still good, but it wasn't going to be much longer before I would need to throw it out. So we're going to use it tonight in this casserole. We're, we're just kind of looking to see what I need to get rid of because it's summertime. I'm fixing to have a garden. I'm going to need to put stuff up. I need to clean out my freezers and my cabinets because I need to make room for more stuff. So don't let it go to waste. Use it Throw it in a casserole. Casseroles are an amazing place to throw stuff into. So we can just about throw anything we want to. If you've had some canned green beans that you need to get rid of to make room, to, to pull out and make room for more, throw in some green beans in this. Like I use the frozen vegetables, throw in a can of green beans. So, okay, I'm going to wait for that to cook. I'll bring you back in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to clean up the kitchen behind me in just a little bit, but let's finish getting this casserole together. Um, I am going to add in, um, I have this big tub of sour cream that I bought for Isaac's graduation party for the baked potatoes. This takes up a lot of room in my refrigerator, and I want to hurry up and run through this. So I'm going to add about a cup and a half of sour cream. So here goes in a cup. Now, I know I'll get a lot of questions. What can you use if you don't like sour cream? Um, I would go with maybe a plain yogurt or maybe a little bit of mayonnaise. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the same amount of mayonnaise, but um, definitely a, a mayonnaise or a yogurt. But um, we happen to really like cream cheese. I mean, not cream cheese. <laughs> sour cream. We really, 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 really like it. Look at this beautiful mixture it's making too. I'm not sure that was quite half a cup that last scoop. So let me scoop out just a little more. All right. So this is kind of like a chicken pie mixture, sort of. All right. So my noodles just finished. I've drained them. So let's go over here to the island. I'll meet you over here after I grease my pan. Well, guess what? I found something else we're going to add to it. Uh, but first, before I add the, the ingredient I hadn't planned on adding, let's add a little Italian seasoning in here. Just a little. Just a little bit. And let me get my stirring utensil. But look what else I found in the refrigerator. Bacon bits. I think that sounds pretty heavenly. Alright, so I'm just I'm just gonna put a couple handfuls in here. I just think that'll be really really good. All right, it's probably a, I probably used too much broth, but that's okay. It's a little juicier than what I had envisioned it being. All right, let me spray my pan. All right, so we're going to use half of this mixture and go down on the bottom of our casserole. 
casserole dish here. And I'm just eyeballing that half. Get one more scoop. All right. So let's take our asparagus now, and we're just gonna kind of cover the top of this casserole. With asparagus. All right, so now we're gonna grab our noodles out of the sink. take my egg noodles and we're just gonna place the ooh they're warm they're warm to my hands all right okay all right I didn't use quite all of them now Here's another thing that I would say if you're making this casserole with, you know, fresh ingredients, then go get you a triangle of a block of Parmesan cheese. But I don't have that. So I'm just going to sprinkle the top of these noodles with Parmesan cheese. And now we're going to go on with the rest of our chicken. Oh, I smell that bacon in there. That smells so good. Okay, y'all. So, now, I don't know if I mentioned, but it, I know not everybody has those Amish noodles. If you don't, I mean, just use egg noodles. Or really any kind of noodle. Okay, so to that, I'm going to add some more Parmesan cheese. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 I should have already preheated it, but I didn't. This is like a chicken pot pie noodle casserole. Does that make sense? And asparagus. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it other than pantry clean out casserole. Now I do have a little bit of this Parmesan cheese. I can get rid of it by sprinkling it on top as well. I am gonna cover this with tin foil for the first 30 minutes um, and then take the tinfoil off and cook it another 15. Brian's going to be mad. He loves this. <laughs> He's not going to be mad because I go to the grocery store tomorrow and get more. So I'm going to cover this up and stick it in the oven at 350. I'll see you back when I take the tinfoil off and leave it in for another 15 minutes. Okay guys, here is this absolutely delicious looking casserole and I cannot wait another second to try it. Um, Brian's just not, he's just going to miss out on the taste test tonight because I'm going to try this right now. Well, you can see I've been washing dishes behind me. Oh y'all, look at that. Pantry, freezer, clean out, casserole. I don't know what to call this, but just call me for it because it looks and smells delicious. Hmm. Y'all. This casserole is amazing. So you can just throw stuff together and it turn out amazing. It 
freaking spot. There's no telling what you could have added to this from your from your pantry of what you have to get rid of. Oh my goodness. This needs to be a regular um, feature like when I clean out. Like what can I throw together and make? <laughs> uh, I got the idea of this casserole like like somewhere. But I had like hardly I have maybe two ingredients that it called for and so I improvised with the rest mm. y'all actually I had three three ingredients that it called for the Parmesan the sour cream and the chicken oh my goodness this is so good So, what can you make out of your pantry and out of your freezer? I can't quit eating this. It's like a chicken pot pie with asparagus with noodles. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Mmm. Some cheddar cheese would have been really good in there. This is delicious. So I'm not I'm gonna not, not gonna end the video here. I can't quit eating. I'm not gonna end the video here. I'm gonna let Bryant taste it and tell you what he thinks. But this is amazing. Let your creative juices start flowing. Get you a a, a recipe idea and then you develop it out of what you have in your pantry and in your freezer and you never know you might just have a hit on your hands and this my friends is a hit so i'm super excited in fact i wonder where bryant is i wonder if i could get him to come home let me see if i can find him so i'll find him shortly okay everybody he's in from, you'll actually get to see what we just did on another video, probably Saturday's video. I've been working on the hay baler. <clears throat> yeah, and I filmed it. This is the pit stop because now I'm heading to the John Deere store to get a door for the tractor. So <laughs> Don't here. ask about the door on the tractor. The second door. So anyway, here we go. Look, this right here smells delicious. So I didn't, I didn't see her make it, so I don't have any idea what's in it. I can see some chicken and I see some corn. I see some green beans. That's really good. What else in it? All kinds of, there's asparagus in it, there's Amish noodles in it, but you can use egg noodles, broth, peas, carrots, green beans. Really good. It's creamy, full of flavor. It's really good, y'all. Really good right there. So Is it, does it have a name? Well, it, it started out with chicken asparagus casserole, yeah. but I didn't have enough of everything. So then I started cleaning out from the freezer mm -hmm. and the cabinets. And so it's just kind of a hodgepodge casserole. I'll let you name it. Um, Monday working man's casserole. There you go. Monday working, Monday working man's casserole. What do you think? That's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. You catch it on my Sunday summertime sites. Yeah, we'll we'll see it at we'll name it something. I don't know if you can redo that's that. That's really that was, good. That's really good. And, and I told him that there's no way I can do a recipe on the end of this. It's just basically what's in your well in your pantry. Well, here's the thing. I think the sauce. And I didn't really measure anything because I just kind of threw everything in here. The sauce and the chicken. What well, you know how to make the sauce though, right? Broth and sour cream. Okay. And maybe a little heavy cream? You could. I didn't put heavy but cream, you could but add you some, could definitely add heavy cream. I, maybe add a little heavy cream. but. Uh, and I will say, I thought it was going to be too juicy, mm -mm. but it, the noodles, I guess, are soaking up some of the juice. So It's not too juicy. It's been sitting here for a little while because I had to go film him on the... Hey, you know what would be really good in here, too? Baylor. You know what would be really good in here? What? Some sun-dried tomatoes. Uh-huh. It's got some bacon in there, too. I put bacon bits in there. Thank you for looking out. You're welcome. 
I had to clean his. Yeah. Yeah. He was saving it for later. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely keep it. This is so good. I don't know that I can recreate it, but um, it's really, really, really good. Hodgepodge casserole. Hodgepodge casserole. That's a good name. Chicken hodgepodge casserole. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Clean out your pantries, clean out your freezers, see what you've got, and throw it into something. Make some kind of soup, casserole. You can do all sorts of things. Throw it in your cornbread. I mean, you know, you can do a lot of things when you're making room out of your freezer. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time on the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I appreciate you being here. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.